All right, we're animating our zombie. Um, this is what we want to have happen. Um, so the idea is that uh, the zombie idles, okay, here he's idling, and then um, he chases after us. All right, he's pretty slow here right now. I'm using a slower animation. I'm doing that on purpose. Um, and then so he does, uh, if we shoot him, he chases. All right, so that's the idea. Um, and that he behaves uh, appropriately. All right, so there's a couple things that we need to think about um, in order to make this happen. So the first one um, is that uh, the first one is that if you're using a um, if you're using a Cinti uh, mesh, a Cinti character like I am, um, then uh, you know I have the character Cinti character inside of a prefab called Enemy, and Enemy has all of my stuff on it. Um, has the nav mesh agent and so forth. Well, the Cinti character has an animator component, um, and it actually has an avatar on it. Uh, I don't know where mine went. Uh, I think it's character's avatar. Um, it has a uh, avatar on it, and we could put a controller on it too. That actually might be part of my problem. Um, let's. That should be none. Okay, so it has a, a character controller on it, and it has an avatar on it. So what you need to do is put an, anim an animator on the same component that has your nav mesh agent, and then copy that avatar over. Um, so uh, you want to click here to find the character's avatar, and then you come back to your avatar, and then you drag that over into the spot, and that will make sure that your character controller works properly with the mesh underneath it. Um, and because we don't want to use this animator because it's not on the same layer, as the uh, nav mesh agent, okay, and the capsule collider. There's problems if you don't do that. All right, so make sure that happens. Um, and then we want to check apply root motion. Now, we're going to use root motion because our, our animations use root motion, and we want to be able to change the speed of the zombie and stuff like that without having to worry about the nav mesh agent and tuning to the animations and so forth. Um, so what we need to do is um, in script, uh, basically stop the nav mesh agent from working. So here's what I've got. This is my zombie animator um, script, which is this script right here. Um, and it is being called from the follow target script. Um, so follow target now has two events, following and stop the following, which uh, when we uh, trigger those, uh, invoke them, um, I either walk or idle, depending on what I want to do. Um, so zombie animator script, here we go. All right, so um, the first thing we want to do is stop the agent from updating the position. And that's what this line of code right here is doing. Um, if this is true, then we see, let's see what the, uh, we have the, the problem. If that's true, um, then this guy, and this here's the reason why I've got him going so slow. Um, he looks like he's ice skating. All right, so look at this. See how fast he is? And he looks like he's ice skating at me. Okay, um, so that's that's what happens if you if your nav mesh agent and your um, uh, uh, root motion are fighting. Okay, so you would have to go in then and you'd have to slow the nav mesh agent down um, so that it doesn't look like he's ice skating. All right, or um, you can come into code and disable update position. So if you do that, if you disable update position like this, then in effect what happens is that the uh, nav mesh agent no longer moves uh, the character forward. Okay. So if we click on him, uh, then now he's he's moving much more slowly. He's moving at his animator pace. Um, and of course. One thing I noticed here as I was doing this video is, is uh, for some reason, I think I've lost shadows in my level, um, which makes it all look weird too. I need to try to figure out how to turn those back on. Um, okay, so that's what's happening. And so in code, we need to update position uh, false, set that to false. Um, update rotation should be true. Should be true by default, but I went ahead and put it in here anyway. Um, and then uh, we also need this line of code which is agent.nextPosition equals transform position. Now this is an important line of code. If I comment that out um, and then run this, you'll see 
Um, <coughs> okay, here we go. All right, so if I do that now, um, he's going to... All right, you see how he's spinning around? Okay, so if I get him moving... All right, so that, that apply root motion thing, that's really bugging him. Um, so that's an important part of the code. You have to do that in order to make it work. All right, so agent.nextPosition gets updated to the transform position. Uh, basically, the uh, root motion on the animation is updating this. Uh, so agent.nextPosition would normally update, but it's not because we turned it off. Uh, so we have to update it ourselves. Uh, otherwise, the agent doesn't know where it's going. It doesn't know that it's been moving. Um, so if we update that, okay, um, then it'll, uh, it'll start to work. All right, so now he's back to normal. Right, he's so slow, though. All right, let's do a quick switch here so that future... Um, if I run anything here in the future, woo, holy cow. All right, I want zombie run. There we go. All right, um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is with the follow target, okay? There's two ways to get your zombie to stop uh, moving at you. All right, so um, your agent your nav mesh agent by default has a stopping distance of zero. So let's see what happens. If I have the stopping distance of zero um, and, I, and I play my game here. All right, so he's faster now, um, but we'll get him to run at me. All right, and then if I see how he spins around. Okay, so what's happening is the root motion is moving the zombie past his, uh, his position. And so um, he's trying to get there, and so he spins around to try to look at and move towards his last position. Um, and, it, uh, and of course, it's not working. Um, so uh, in order to get him to stop looking for that last position, you have to do one of two things. Either you make his stopping distance so that he's got a radius that he's okay with, um, and then he's like, oh, that's cool. As long as I'm within 0.5 units of where I want to be, then I can stop moving, okay? Or you can come in here and instead of setting the destination, you can use is stopped. Um, so if you set is stopped to true, that will also stop your animation in its tracks, whether the stopping distance is 0 0.5 or not. But if you do that, if you set agent is stopped to true, you also then later have to set is stopped to false um, so that he starts back up again. Uh, otherwise, the agent won't work because is stopped isn't stop moving it is stop working okay it's like a light switch it just turns it off sort of like enabled um, and so it just stops working uh, so then you have to start it working again so set destination transform position is probably better uh, choice um, than is stopped um, so I don't need this line if I have uh, this thing going but if that's the case then you need to have a stopping distance that is forgiving so that when your zombie is is uh, chasing you, um, that he stops. Whoops. Uh, that he stops um, when it's okay. He's like, all right, that's fine. I can stop there. Otherwise, he'll spin around and it'll look weird. All right. Um, I think that's it for uh, the animation, at least that I wanted to talk about for today. This video has probably gone on a little while. Um, so there we go. See you in the next video.